Hey guys, this is Julie from Riverton Fit Body Bootcamp. I'm here to welcome you into our Sweatin' Into Summer six week challenge. I want to talk with you today about how we're tracking our foods. We are going to first start off tracking our foods from that meal plan that you have been given from your coach. That fits you into a certain calorie range and those macronutrient percentages are going to be a higher protein, lower carb, moderate fat. This is to cut the fat quickly while preserving as much lean muscle mass as possible. What you're going to do is you're going to start off by logging your foods into MyFitnessPal. I recommend doing this at least 24 hours in advance. You do not want to log the, as you go. It creates a lot of confusion and will be an added stress and you'll get tired and you'll be more likely to give it up. Log the night before at least, if not full 24 hours to make your puzzle work. If you're following the meal plan directly, just follow everything there as it says. You'll be checking the MyFitnessPal nutrient screen, which you find at the bottom of your diary. You click on nutrition, and then you click on the nutrients tab, and that will show you your full macronutrient prescription. You will want to do this multiple times throughout the day to make sure your puzzles work, but if you do it the day before, then you're set. You know that you just need to eat off what you've put in. Okay, now as we transition to you picking your own foods, which is totally an option, we want to teach you full macros so that you can have the most sustainability and flexibility in your life. So you will put in, you'll, you'll notice when you put in chicken breast, it will say you've got 23 grams per three ounces. You can do a food swap for that. You can say, okay, I need about 23 grams of protein. I'm going to do tuna or I'm going to do turkey instead. And you can just find that entry in my fitness pal and change the serving size to match the portion of, tw of 23 grams. It's pretty simple. Now you will want to do this the day before as well so that you remain on track, but you want to start learning what your macronutrient prescription is so that you can take full control and make your macros work. You still want to choose whole food sources, stay away from the processed foods, as much veggies as possible, being smart with our starchy carbs choices. As we go into the recipe book, you will see that they are already in my fitness pal. What you will do is you will choose which recipes you want to use. I recommend starting with just maybe the dinner plan, putting dinner in first and then putting in the rest of the day because sometimes on those recipes, it may have more fat than one other plan and that's great. This is where the flexibility comes in, but you just need to make adjustments in other areas. So as we're tracking the full macros, we're focusing on, on all of the proteins in a food, all of the carbs and all of the fats. We're not just tracking the macronutrient that has the largest amount in the food. This creates long-term sustainability. We as coaches are here to support you. Dallin and I will be going live every week, either one of us or we may do it together to answer all of your questions. And of course, your coach is always available to help you. Do not get frustrated with this learning curve because it's worth it. It's what's going to help you create long lasting results and you'll be in control of your weight. Okay. And it will allow you to work in a bowl of ice cream or that birthday cake when you want to. Not right now, not during these six weeks, we're going to hit it hard right now. All right. So stay focused. Ask lots of questions and let us help you. Good luck.